Hello, I'm Dr. Inzun Wong with CDC's Influenza Division. At this time, an outbreak of human cases of H1N1 influenza is occurring in the United States. CDC understands that many people are concerned and we're concerned as well. We'd like you to know that CDC and its local, state, and international partners are actively investigating and responding to this outbreak. Based on the rapid spread of the virus thus far, it's likely that more cases will be identified in the next several weeks. CDC is acting quickly and decisively to address this growing health threat. Although there is no vaccine available right now to protect against this strain of H1N1 influenza, we've begun the process of developing a vaccine should it become necessary. CDC also has activated its Emergency Operations Center to coordinate the agency's response. On April 26th, Janet Napolitano, Secretary of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, declared a public health emergency in the United States. This allows funds to be released for the acquisition of medicines and supplies. As part of our preparedness efforts, the U.S. government previously purchased 50 million treatment courses of the influenza antiviral drugs oseltamivir and zanamivir for the U.S. strategic national stockpile. Influenza antiviral drugs are prescription medications that are available in pill, liquid, or inhaler form. These medicines can make your illness milder, make you feel better faster, and may also prevent serious influenza complications. They are an important weapon in our arsenal against influenza viruses. Other materials in the stockpile include personal protective equipment and respiratory protection devices such as face masks and respirators. On April 26, 2009, CDC's Division of the Strategic National Stockpile released one quarter of its antiviral drugs, personal protective equipment, and respiratory protection devices to help states respond to this outbreak. These materials will be useful in reducing transmission of H1N1 influenza illness and treating people who are sick. CDC's goals during this public health emergency are clear. Our actions are designed to slow the spread of disease and reduce the severity of the illness in people. In addition, CDC has placed an emphasis on providing timely information and guidance to help health care providers, public health officials, and the public address the challenges posed by this newly identified influenza virus. In response to this outbreak, CDC has issued a number of informational and guidance documents. These materials are being updated and expanded as the situation develops. The materials are available for viewing or download on the CDC website at www.cdc.gov. We ask that people visit this webpage to learn more about H1N1 influenza and the outbreak. We also ask that you check the website often as the recommendations are subject to change.